What's up? I'm Pat Kent. I'm back. You're welcome. My goal is to make this lady have her baby. Two and one half months early. The baby will die. It would not survive. You know, this is not a Niku unit. Niko. <laughs> These floors are riddled with diseases. Your baby is a goner <laughs> in this situation I'm making up. Obviously, happy, help, healthy, wh whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I actually do not care. <clears throat> and that's a, a no offense, but if your baby lives or dies, not going to change my life. One, not even one bit. Too much? Let the record show that that was not too much. The crowd did enjoy that. Let the record show. It's been recorded in the record. <laughs> I feel like I, I owe you guys an apology, not for that, but uh, I, thought, I actually thought this president was not going to do a good job, you know? And he's, he's really doing great. He's actually, I feel like an idiot, because I thought, like when, we, when he got elected, I was like, Ooh, this is not going to go well. And then, like, it's going great. <laughs> it's, like, going so great. <laughs> no, no explanation necessary. Just look at the economy and look at how few Kuwaitis are in the crowd tonight, and you will see that America is now great again. Tiki sales are through the roof. Co companies are doing good. That's called, uh, I don't know what it's called, satire? <laughs> it's a form of comedy. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Okay, I gotta, I gotta let, here's the appropriate sounds you as an audience can make. Chortles, guffaws, laughters. <laughs> you can repeat the punchline of whatever I say to your friend. Anything other than that, shut that fuck up. <laughs> All right, good, we're on the same page. Oh, yeah, white guys are done. White guys are, are not a thing anymore. We are at an all-time low. S stock has plummeted. <laughs> and I just want to say at the top, and I know this is like, it's going to be controversial, but I'm actually super anti-rape. So, and I know that's... I'm actually not for it at all. And I've heard a lot of excuses. And I'm, I'm not for any of them. You know, after actually thinking about it. You do have to actually think about it, but I am anti <laughs> rape. Rape raping. I'm anti rape rapist. I'm I'm all of it. I don't like any of it, actually, you know. And I know that's controversial and I know a lot of you disagree with me, but I'm gonna stand here and say it. I don't think people should get raped. That's just what I think. Yeah, so I do. And, uh, but I, you know, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say a but. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> uh, ladies are taking over the world. I think that's overall a positive thing. The future is, yeah. It's unbelievable that you know who I am and yet you'd still cheer for that. You know, it's like the other shoe is falling, obviously. <laughs> Just a word of warning, ladies, and you're going to find this out as you start running the world. Um, <laughs> There's just like a couple of things that we white guys learned over the last forever of running the world, you know? <laughs> Ain't no one in this room going to be running the world. None of you ladies are. If you were in any type of position to run the world, you wouldn't fucking be here. That's <laughs> for sure. So that's what sucks about it. Because I'm a white guy with like, I mean, I have some perks, you know, well, not anymore. Everyone's speaking out, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have like the fucking big time perks. Do you know what I mean? Like the full on hotel room perks. I don't get any of that stuff. Those are my representatives, Mr. Weinstein, those types of people. <laughs> and the word of warning to the ladies is just like, pick the right ones, you know, because. You ladies got some bitches in your midst, you know? And it's, those are the ones that are going to rise up. You, do you really want Betsy DeVos 
being the representative for all y'all white ladies? Well, she is. Do you know what I mean? Or that lady that invented the period-proof panties? And then would call all staff meetings and then would take her clothes off and grab everyone's breasts? That's who you want. That's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So enjoy. This is the fun part. Taking the power and the rise, that's fun. I, unfortunately, was only for the, on the back side when I was born. So white men were already headed out. <laughs> was like a bummer. 70s, 60s, and 70s, that's the heyday for white guys. You know what I mean? Do you guys know what I mean? <laughs> Let the record show that everybody knows what I mean. It's like where there was a broad in the office, she was a secretary, you pinched her butt, it was, that was like legal, you know? 1972, it became illegal. But pre that, it was legal. Do you know what I mean? As legal as using paper clips, pinching the secretary's butt. Heyday. Not, for, not morally, but you know, for fun. Are you having fun so far? Of course you are. I'm talking. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it is bad. It's pro. I've, uh, I've lost 60 pounds, you guys. And then I put 20 back on. So I've lost 40. I've lost 40 pounds. And uh, you know you're fat when you tell people you've lost 40 pounds and you can see them doing the math like, ha what? <laughs> Where would you hide 40 more pounds on that? I'm very, very fat. Uh, I'm wearing a black shirt so that you can't tell, but um, I'm actually dangerously fat. Flying here, uh, I, I did my, I'm dumb too, and I, did, I got my flight time wrong. So when I was flying here, I was like super early to the airport, and there was only one, there was this like one guy, Southwest guy behind the desk. And I was like, hey, I know, you know this flight's going to Philadelphia, but the next one, that's to Chicago. I just want to make sure I'm in the same right place. And, uh, and he looks at me and he goes, yeah, yeah, just hang there for a second. And I was like, no, that's fine. I just need to know if I'm in the right spot or not. And he's like, nah, give me your ticket. And I was like, okay. And I gave me his, his ticket. I gave me, a, I gave me, I gave him. <laughs> let's take, let's, we'll take it back. <laughs> White guys are done. No, what if I went all the way back to the <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gave him my ticket. Woo! I did it! Woo! Fuck yeah! Hey! Sentence! <laughs> Woo! I gave him my ticket, and he just like clacking and clacking clack, 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 and I was like, I don't, because I was like, I'm already A class because I'm a white guy. Do you know what I mean? I'm section A, you know? So it's like, what more could you be giving me? And he's like, uh, I'm gonna reserve the seat next to you. You're way too big for one seat. I was like, what? <laughs> Hurt so bad. It's like, it is because when you're this fat, it's like, I feel like I'm doing great, but I f always forget that the rest of the world is like, oh, that guy's going to die soon of a heart attack. <laughs> and he's like, slid it across. And then, but then that downgraded me to C-section. And he's like, you can just pre-board with all the wheelchairs. And I was like, no. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I will be boarding in the A section that I originally paid for. And it's like I wanted to explain to him, like, bruh, I no longer need a seatbelt extender. So, haha, <laughs> suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> By one centimeter, I no longer need. <laughs> Uh, when I was buckling my seatbelt, the stewardess, I sat in the row. You know in Southwest, the stewardess always stands like 20 rows in or 15 rows in. She just stands and 16. takes up what? 16 rows. 16 rows in. I'm so sorry. Was that what you were whispering to her? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I told you the rules of what you were allowed to say. She's to take 16. So it's fantastic. Thank you guys so much for coming out. <laughs> So she's, she's standing there, and she's looking at me, and I'm looking at her because I know what she's thinking. I'm going to be fucking working against the flow to go get a seatbelt extender for this fat fuck. And, like, he's going to ask me in two seconds, and I was like, ha <laughs> no. But then it's like, I'm not to the don't look at the seatbelt to plug it in yet. Like, I still have to really, like, 
But I got it clipped, and I was like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but then my, my stomach then folded over it, so then she couldn't tell if, I, if there was even a seatbelt <laughs> in that seat. <laughs> the same thing happened to me uh, at Disneyland. There's this new ride that shoots you straight up in the air, and... Uh, they put a harness that goes over your shoulders, and I'm buxom, right? And uh, <laughs> so I sit down in the thing, and I was like, this seat, I know we're in California, but this seat seems very small. <laughs> and I'm like trying, <clears throat> trying to get it, and I can't, it's like, you know, up through your crotch, down over your shoulders, and I'm trying, and I cannot get it. And I look up, and there's like just a whole row of Southern California beautiful women just being like, eh. <laughs> and like holding their arms up. And I was just like, oh no. I'm like trying to raise my hand, but you can't do anything with those stupid fucking harnesses over your shoulders. And so finally, uh, a different guy than the guy that seated me came over, and he's like, hey man, you want to pop out of the child seat? And I was like, yes, immediately. <laughs> yes. I want to pop out of the child seat. I want to pop out of Disneyland. <laughs> I want to pop out of this entire living situation. <laughs> I want to pop right over to the churro stand <laughs> and drown my sorrows in a stick of cinnamon bread. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for coming out. It's been two great years. I'm Pat Kent. Good night.